most anticipated automotive shows of the year, SEMA, is canceled for 2020. Okay, but enough talk. to all our viewers and welcome to the studio for the first ever Ford Auto Nights. And this one is a SEMA show special, y'all. I'm your host, Jared Deanna, to be quite honest, I've been to over 20 SEMA shows and I met my now wife at the SEMA show 1999. I see. You're yeah. not aging yourself, are you? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm your host, Kelly Edwards, an adventure travel journalist by land, air, and sea as a multi-rated licensed pilot, outdoors woman, and advanced open water diver. Weird flex, but okay, I'll just leave now. So again, together we're gonna take you for a thrilling 60 minutes of smoking hot rides with Ford, covering all things customization and performance, on road and off. We may not be able to go to SEMA this year, but we aren't gonna let that stop us. Instead of the bright lights of Las Vegas, we've brought SEMA to Motor City, where it all started. And this place isn't just cool. It's spectacular. I mean, this is the ultimate garage. It's stocked with tools and accessories and an ocean of space to tackle any project and see some tricked out jaw dropping rides from factory fresh to fully customized. Now, it might look like we're standing in a real garage, but check this out. Bam, crazy, right? <laughs> this year, we've all been kept at home more than we'd like to be, but with a little movie magic tonight, we can go anywhere we want. I'm talking mountains, yeah. lakes, deserts. There's no telling where we'll end up. So rev up your engines and strap yourself in for 60 minutes of gearhead heaven. Because we're here in the studio, we've gathered the all new Ford All-Stars. You'll get up close and personal with the all new Ford Bronco and its rugged smaller sibling, the Bronco Sport. And we have much more than just mud. If you stay tuned, you'll smell the burning rubber and hear the tire screeching when you meet the all-electric Mustang Mach-E and its speed demon sister, the 1400, a one-of-a-kind creation from Von Gittin Jr. Plus, we've got the all-new F-150, part of Ford F-Series. It's not just tough, it's built Ford tough. But we'll do more than just meet the vehicles. We'll also dive into the latest accessories, on-road, off-road, lifted, lowered, roof down, doors off, you'll get the lowdown for customizing your ride. And one more very important highlight, we'll also be revealing our project builds. Uh, follow me, people. Let's go. Now, these customized project vehicles are not to be missed. A lot of grease, sweat, and tears have gone into these builds over the last few months. So it will be a proud moment when the builders show them off for the first time tonight. The builders got to work on three all new Ford products, the Bronco, Bronco Sport, and F-150. And you'll get to see what they came up with. While we know you're here for our good looks, <laughs> that's not the only reason to keep watching. We have great offers and exclusive content available only to you throughout the show. For starters, everyone who's tuning in today can download four free digital illustrations of latest and greatest vehicles from Ford. These one-of-a-kind kick-ass illustrations were custom created specifically for today as a digital memento. Just click on the link in the description below to grab those downloads. And keep your phone in hand because we will be displaying QR codes 
when we reveal our project build vehicles later in the show. The QR codes will take you to exclusive content for these new builds. But wait, that's not all. For those of you who want to grab some parts or accessories today, check out the link in the description for more details. All right, all right, enough with the talk, right? Down to business. Y'all ready? Let's do this. The obvious place to start is with the long-awaited return of an icon. Our first vehicle of the night disappeared off the face of the earth, or at least off the production line, 25 years ago. Through the sheer, don't take no for an answer passion of you, the fans, the Bronco brand is back in 2021 and ready to rumble. I'll kick it over to you, Kelly, to tell us more. Let's get the Ford Auto Night SEMA show party going. What time is it? It's Bronco time, as you can probably tell from the garage I'm standing in. Pretty cool, huh? So grab your gear and saddle up, folks, because it's about to get all kinds of wild. Let's start by winding the clock back to 1965 to see how this icon was born. What makes a Bronco a Bronco? When it burst from its stables in 1966, an attitude was born. An unapologetic, mud-splattering, boundary-shattering, category-defining, go-wherever-it-darn-well-pleased kind of attitude. Capable enough for the harshest terrain, but comfortable and functional as an everyday family vehicle. Bronco's ingenuity changed the off-road landscape and empowered a new era of adventure. Bronco was a true performance car for the off-road, a favorite of police, rangers, ranchers, and all-around thrill-seekers. It won races and set records. It starred in movies and television shows. It became a symbol of freedom, a pop culture icon. And then in the 1990s, it disappeared. But while Bronco production may have stopped, it was never forgotten. You can't discontinue an attitude. What an iconic history. And now the story continues. This summer, Ford revealed the long-awaited return of the Bronco. The all-new Bronco stampedes over the horizon with the same built wild ruggedness, thrilling 4x4 capability, and ready-for-fun attitude that made it an immediate hit 55 years ago. Check it out. This country has a strange relationship with the wild. As much as we talk about it, and paint paintings of it, and sing songs about how we're destined to be it, we seem to spend every waking hour in places that keep us away from it. So to get back to the wild, we need something built for it. Something that acts like it's been out here before because it has. Introducing the return of a legend. The all-new Bronco two-door, the first ever Bronco four-door, and the adventure-ready Bronco Sport. Built to get you to all those places you normally only see in nature documentaries. Built for capability, for adventure, for enjoying the open air, on the open road, in the parts of the world without posted speed limits. Because if something is going to be called a Bronco, it better be able to live up to that name. Meet the future of off-roading. The all-new Bronco family. What a comeback. I want one. Even better, the Bronco has returned in both a two-door and four-door version. And if that wasn't enough, it has a new sibling. Next to me here is the Bronco Sport. Let's take a closer look at the newest member of the family because it's just competed in the recent Rebel Rally. For those who don't know, the Rebel Rally bills itself as the first women's off-road navigation rally in the United States. Here with me are Jovina and Shelby, who were behind the wheel. Hello, ladies, and welcome to Ford Auto Night's SEMA Show Special. Shelby, you emerged victorious with the Bronco Sport in the X-Cross class. 
What was it like to add another win to your off-road legacy at the Rebel Rally? When we learned that we had earned that first place, uh, we were just over the moon. And can you tell me a few things about the Bronco Sport that helped you over the course of those eight grueling days? We traveled through a lot of different terrain. In the GOAT modes, there's a camera in front of the vehicle, so you get a 180 degree view of what's happening under the nose of the vehicle. Jovina, Shelby has Bronco racing coursing through her veins, but you're new to the sport. What made you take the first step? I had never off-roaded before, and I wanted to know firsthand what it's like to be out there and off-road in this vehicle. Doing the Rebel Rally was a great way to get some of that off-road cred and just get out there. Shelby, what advice did you give Jovino right before the rally? That the first year that you are competing in any type of competition, that's your year to learn. Really soak everything in so that you can come back next time and have a full understanding of how it works and um, you know, be more successful. Jovina, now that you've had the experience, what advice would you give to someone who was thinking about trying off-roading for the first time? Yeah, I, you know, I think when you're off-roading for the first time, one of the best things you can do is actually work with a professional and take a class. That really built the confidence in me so that the next time I actually got out there, I had seen it before, I had done it before. I can almost hear that person chirping in my ear saying, this is what you do in this situation. Well, Shelby, congratulations on your win. And Jovina, A for effort. I love that you went out and experienced it firsthand for all of us at home who have never had that experience. Thank you so much for both being here. Thank you. Now let's take a closer look at the Bronco Sport, the vehicle they were tearing around in. Here it is, Bronco Sport. It is built wild just like its siblings. So you could say this baby lives up to the family name. This vehicle happens to be a Badlands in a color called Area 51. And this one here is Big Bend in iconic silver. It's packing the iconic proportions and character lines of Bronco, along with a host of family features. Round headlights, you can see the encapsulated grille, plus angled C-pillar nod to the larger Bronco sports bar. The safari style roof delivers classic off-road style, and check this out. If I open the lift gate, boom, you can see it can pack two standing adult bicycles. And thanks to Ford's small SUV architecture, this baby features high-speed off-road drive. Up to seven goes over any type of terrain driving modes from normal to rock crawl, better known as goat modes. And the Bronco exclusive Haas system, that is high-performance off-road stability suspension system. Once you get where you're going, you can set up camp quickly with available features like the cargo management system, molly straps, a 400 watt inverter, and lift gate floodlights. Before dawn, after dark, no problem. But it doesn't stop there. There are so many more things you could do to make Bronco Sport your own. With a full line of factory backed accessories, you get more capability, personalization, and style. Let's take a quick look at a few of the accessories we love the most. Our collaborations with companies like Rigid and Yakima will get you geared up for all things outdoors. Off-roading, of course, but also climbing, biking, kayaking, ski and snowboarding, camping, and more. That's where Bronco Sport really excels. This thing is outdoor ready. We got fender flares, we got interior bike racks, we got lighting, including the Rigid 40-inch radiant straight light bar. We got cargo solutions, you name it. The rooftop tent makes the Bronco Sport the go-to for outdoor adventures when you'll be spending your night under the stars. We've all been there, right? The leaky tent, the freezing cold. Whew, that's not gonna happen here. This rooftop tent is also very easy to pitch. The ladder and all the hardware are included, which means you'll make camping quicker and get onto roasting your marshmallows even sooner each and every time. And it fits neatly on the roof with the Yakima crossbars. Next up, the roof-mounted kayak carrier from Yakima. We already showed you the interior bike carrier, but also we have the hitch-mounted one out back to give you extra space for the rest of your gear. The snow sports rack lets you take it to the snowy slopes for an escape in the winter wilderness. Tempted? Thought so. If you like what you see, hit the link below to check out our accessories page for a whole lot more info. Tonight, we only have a little bit of time to give you a flavor of what's possible, but the point is that whatever your passion, it's gonna be easy to trick out your Bronco Sport to get you and your gear to your favorite trailhead. Oh yeah, I hear you say. And we say heck yeah right back, because guess what? We made one to prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's take a look at our first project vehicle of the night. It is a very special build indeed. 
Now Bronco Sport is a brand new vehicle. And for this, the first build of the night, we wanted to do something really special. This build was designed with people like Kyle and Rachel Strait in mind. They're a husband and wife team out of San Diego who are crazy for mountain bike racing. So Ford's designers teamed up with Mad Industries in Arizona to cook up a build that would be an Overlander's dream conversion. With us now to tell us more about the vision for this build is Chris Mangum himself. Chris, welcome to the studio. Thanks, Kelly, I appreciate it. Tell us a little bit more about your vision for this build. What you see appearing next to me is the ultimate Overland Bronco Sport. The first thing we installed was a lift and level kit with some help from our friends at Four Wheel Parts. Then we added air design cladding and fender flares just to give it some teeth. We added graphite wheels from 1552 and some BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires to complete the lift in order to tackle more aggressive terrain. On storage, we made sure to include everything you need out on an adventure, like the cargo and racking solutions. Store your gear, bike mount, and daggered kayak on the roof. We also stowed a Huey Man shovel on the top, four performance recovery boards, and a slim shady awning by Yakima, so you can set up camp anywhere you go. And for confidence out there, we also took a Ford Performance Recovery Kit by Warren to assist you if you get stuck off-road. And finally, the gem is the 17-foot Boreas All-Terrain Camper. With a high departure angle, it's built for going off-road and has more storage to the vehicle for whatever you need out there. This thing can go just about anywhere, through water, over rock, you name it. So that's the vision. Shall we see how Mad Industries did? And shall we find out what Rachel and Kyle thought when we sent them to Arizona to check out the build? Let's take a look. So my Chris with Mad Industries. I've been building project vehicles since I was a kid. Having a good time doing it. Our brief for the build was to take our concept and then utilize Ford accessories, Ford partners, and wanted something that was targeted for gearing up and doing things. Yeah, I mean, three weeks, it's a challenge, but you know, it's fun. That looks good. Perfect for that vehicle. They want a little bit higher vehicle off the ground, so it works to get it lifted up. The logo was white, but we decided to get these custom painted to match the Area 51 color. The challenges are just time. You got to have that mindset that you're going to get it done no matter what and not panic. All right, you guys, let's put all the gear on them since we're a day away from being done. I really like these Yakima clips. They have a movement once they're locked in, so no worries. Nice. All comes down to this. Killed it. Good job, guys. Three weeks. Let's get out of here. Well, we're out here in Sedona, Arizona, taking the uh, Bronco Sport out today to put it through some paces and just enjoy this epic scenery. Incredible how this Bronco Sport is taking this trail. Good to see you, Kyle. Hey, Rachel. What's going on? Hi, how are you? Good. Thanks for coming out to check out the new Bronco Sport. Awesome. I love the color. I love how they match the interior. You got like a cooler in the back? Full on Air B, zero fridge in the back. Got the Slim Shady Yakima on the side. Oh, yeah, that thing is clutch when it's hot up. You know, with the mountain bikers like you guys, you're kayakers, hikers, it's just a big demographic target for this vehicle. Come on, babe, let's go. That was rad. Pretty gnarly back there. This thing did not even get scared once. We seem to have been transported from our chilly Detroit all the way down to Arizona. I did say I want to get outdoors, didn't I? Let's take a look at this finished build. What a stunning piece of work, Chris. Congratulations, I want one. And I still just love the trailer. I can just see myself out there. What are you most proud of and what was the hardest part about this build? Thanks, Kelly. Well, I'm most proud of the design. It's great to design a vehicle and inspire other people to do the same thing. We get calls all the time from people asking us, how'd I do that, you know? So we tell them it's great to help people out. Since it's a brand new vehicle, how hard was it working with the Bronco Sport? It was the first one out, really, that got shipped to somebody. So for us, it's so much fun to work on something no one has ever seen. The toughest part was definitely the lift and level. We just had to get it right 
for having a trailer on it, and it worked out great. To all of our viewers out there, you might be jonesing, thinking that that special conversion is unattainable, right? Well, not true. Just scan the QR code that is now displaying at the bottom of the screen. You can check out all the Ford products and accessories that Mad Industries use to build this unique Bronco Sport conversion and create one of your own. Check out the link in the description for more details on our accessories. If you can't access the QR code, you can click the link below to unlock this project vehicle so you can check out all of its features and maybe even make one for yourself. Well, that's all for the Bronco Sport. We've been off road, we're covered in mud, and now we need a long, hot shower. But there's no time because here on Auto Nights, we just don't stop. Next, we go from the two track to the racetrack. It's time to talk performance. <laughs> 